Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back to do my very first plan with me video for 2022. If you're interested in where I've been, what's been going on, I cover a little bit of that in my planner lineup for 2022, which should be uploaded to the channel. Um, so I have moved over to a new planner for the year. I'm using the Jibun Techio. I'm using in combination with a couple of other things, but my plan with me's will be in this. I really like this planner so far. I've done some stickering and whatnot in it, but this will be the first time I've tried to use a kit. So I thought we would start out trying to use a Hobonichi Weeks kit. So I will be using this kit from Once More With Love. I've had it for quite a while. It is a Totoro themed kit, Studio Ghibli kit. Um, I probably will not be pulling in a lot of other stickers and things, at least initially, until I get the feel of how I'm going to use stickers in this particular planner because up until this point I've predominantly stickered after my day has been completed. I'm a, I've been doing a bit more plan as I go rather than preemptive planning. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about once we get in. So let's dive in and get the party started. All right so we are going to be planning the week of January 17th to January 23rd of 2022. And again, we are using the Once More With Love sticker kit. I think these little stickers will actually fit really nicely in the boxes of this, the way that the size, you would think that I've measured the size, but no, my friends, it's much more fun to live on the edge. So I've already written down some things that I wanna be doing um, this upcoming week. And this is kind of what I was discussing initially is that I'm not going to pre-plan things as much unless there's some kind of set appointment. I'm going to put the tasks that I would like to complete in the week on the left hand side and as I complete them I can transfer them over during the day to see what's going on. I do intend to utilize the hourly layout um, as I see fit just to kind of, I want to see where my time is going. I know that I am addicted to playing games like Candy Crush and a few others on my phone. So I want to see how many hours I'm dedicating to that. Um, and if you notice here, if you're reading any of this stuff, these notes are not just for this channel. I will be opening up another channel as well that is focused around my traditional art and going to be filming and producing tutorial videos and a Patreon will open too. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested, you can check all of that information and updates out at nerdy.jess on Instagram. And that will also be where I post an image of my finished spread. Um, I did mention this for those of you who are had not watched the other video um, that have been following my channel for a while. My shop is currently closed due to financial constraints, um, but I will be opening that back up. So keep an eye out for that as well on Insta. I will also mention it here on occasion. So let's see what we've got going on. So obviously I'm filming a little bit early. This is actually... Um, Saturday. Um, so, so I'm doing, I, some of the tasks I'm doing a little bit early. I had put on here that I wanted to film my planner lineup and everything this week. Uh, but yesterday I was spending some time learning how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. And I realized that in order to really do that, I would much rather use actual footage that I can have a finished product in rather than sitting there for hours working on, you know, just random footage that has no meaning to me. So I kind of want to see how things are going to look. Now, the stickers for the dates on this, because it is a Hobonichi Weeks kit, they are not horizontal like this planner. But I wonder if we can put them over this, because at the top there, those are the moon phases. And, and while I appreciate moon phases and all the things that go with them, I think I don't, I, I don't think, I know I don't mind covering those up, but that doesn't make sense because then I would have the date. So maybe we won't use those. I will think on this, this, I will figure that out. Probably not right now um, because I do not want to cover up the weather. I do like tracking weather. I don't know why I have it on my phone, but it makes me happy. Okay. So let's get started. So we have this really cute little Totoro, Munchkin in Totoro suit. And I apologize, I don't have my fun forceps or tweezers at the moment. And I think maybe, maybe we'll just cover that up. Hey, look at that. 
It's almost perfect. Oh, let's see. It's Tom Rotate Forever Paper. It's so thin. It's so thin. Oh, God. Okay, can I do Aha! Ha. All right. I am so blind that it is really hard for me to see because my ring light with my camera is right in front of me, so I can't lean forward to see if it's straight. That was not straight. Bear with me. I will eventually get this. And if I don't, who cares? Yeah, let's see. There we go. That's kind of cute. It covered up, it's just big enough that it covered up that calendar at the top. Oh, I like you. All right, so now we know Hobonichi Week stickers work well in this space. And there are Jibun Techo kits out there. I think some shops are making them. So if you're more interested in kits that are actually made for it, you should check those out. So we also have these washi strips. I wonder. But they're not quite long enough. Like that one, that one is. This one's really not. But you know, those could be really cool to utilize, like to use them vertically and do, um, to mark out like chunks of time. So maybe we'll save those for that. That would be cool. All right, so. I know that I'm going to be doing lots of computer work. So, you know what? I know that I want to write the blog intro for, maybe we'll do that Monday morning. I'm gonna try to make myself get up around nine. I, I wanna write the like welcome intro blog uh, entry for my Patreon page that'll be associated with my art channel. And then we can throw these guys just kind of randomly places because, you know. Man, look at that, that is perfect. It actually fits perfectly between the hours too. So it doesn't cover them up. Like it, it covers a little bit of the edge, but I really like that. All right, and then little soot ball guys. We'll just smack dab you right in the middle of the day. How about that guys? Nope, crooked. Oh no, oh no. It's really funny because I have days um, when I was planning with stickers regularly and it's even in some of my videos where I have times where I sit down to plan and I don't care about how crooked things look. And then I have days like today where it's like, no, I really, really wanna make that straight. I think that's pretty straight actually. Like I said, I'm blind and I'm pretty far back from the table because the ring light covers a big, I can't I keep trying to like show you with my hands and it's off frame, but it covers a big area. It's a big ring light. All right, we've got a really, really cute weekend banner. And I know for a fact, I am not going to, to get up stupid early on the weekend. So we can put that there. And then, and then, let's see what else do we have? We have habit trackers but I really use my habit tracker there. And I mean, earlier on in the book, there's a space for it. And we've got these really cute little post-it notes. Put some post-its. Maybe I'll put a post-it note, because I have one for each day of the week. Maybe I'll put it up here, because I'm going to be sleeping during these hours, unless something goes terribly wrong. I could put it up here, and maybe I could put, I could write in my top priority for the day. Like the, the big task that I want to complete, or that I did complete that day. Like the most important thing for that day. And I went outside earlier. It is cold here, y'all. I really hope that we don't have snow get in again. That's what I call it. So if you guys follow national news or if you live in Texas and experienced it, um, 
we had unprecedented cold snap last year around this time of year and it was um it was bad enough taxed our power grid system i won't get into all that because i know there's some very very strong opinions out there but it taxed our, our um power grid system our power supply enough that there were blackouts and un unfortunately subsequently there were actually people who died of freezing to death um because it got down into not into negative numbers but down close to zero um which may sound really funny to to folks who live in other regions that it gets cold but because our weather here predominantly stays very warm throughout the year people were not prepared we don't even have the ability to um put snow melt out on the roads so things were shut down it was it was pretty pretty awful um we were very fortunate at our house because for whatever reason, I don't know if we're on emergency services, like if there's emergency services on our grid uh, or our section of the grid, but there we did not lose power. So we were very lucky. All right, so we put down the top priority and then we have those little star checklists would be really cute as decoration even across the bottom of each of these. I think I'm gonna do that. I like it, I like it a lot. So how's everybody been? How was your new year? Did you guys have a good holiday season? What's been going on? We'll see how this looks. I don't know. Oh, then we could put a little star. I got it. I know what I'm doing. Um, I got really, really sick. Um, symptoms started the night before Christmas Eve and ended up with congestion in my chest and everything else. I did go get tested. I, did, I tested negative for uh, COVID. I'm fully vaccinated as well, um, which is great. But the vaccination, I don't, for those of you that are new to the channel and ha, or just haven't seen uh, videos where I've spoken about it, I actually have done volunteer microbiology research and uh, I haven't completed my degree, but I was in school to become a microbiologist. And while I did not specialize in virology, I have had some training with them and definitely have a deeper understanding and knowledge of vaccines than the average person, not as deep and knowledgeable as an immunologist, let's say, but I, I understand how they work. And unfortunately, the way that vaccines do work, especially the um, mRNA or the, the genetic vaccines that we have now for COVID, um, they are not to prevent disease per se. It's, it's kind of confusing. I know that sounds a little crazy. Just hear me out. They're similar to the flu vaccine in the way that they are there to hopefully subvert symptoms. Basically, the idea is, is that it saves your life. It is more difficult for your, for it to create true infection, but it does not mean that you cannot contract it, which means you can be a carrier and spread it to others and be completely asymptomatic as, as par for the course. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, made sure that I got tested. My son was here visiting from Hawaii. He's d elected to do high school in, uh, in Hawaii with his dad. His dad is active duty army. And so is his, uh, stepmom. I just call her his second mom. I love her to death actually. Um, but they, he came to visit for Christmas and I now call him, I, he's going to hate that I mentioned this. His nickname is Baby. He's my baby. So now I call him Bioweapon Baby <laughs> because I told him that he brought the, brought the plague to the house, which he is not amused by, but I think it's fun. So whatever. Oop. Okay. So are you guys excited about the new year? Are you nervous? What do you think it's going to pan out better for you. I mean, I guess everybody's optimistic that it would. Um, you always hope that the new year is better than the last year. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of excited to see how life goes. I'm really excited about 
um, getting the shop up and running again and getting my art channel established and up and going. Um, I will show you guys. Um, I'll pop it up in here, show you some of my recent artwork that I've done just to give you an idea of what I do. I'm predominantly a colored pencil artist. It's my favorite, but I use other mediums as well. I don't generally do uh, opaque mediums. Like I don't do acrylic. Um, I want to try oils, but Lord knows I don't need another hobby to spend money on. So I would like to stay with my partner and, you know, happily that he and I can be happy. All right, so I kind of dig the way that that looks. That worked out well. Maybe I've got some stars left. Maybe I could put a star here and a star there to kind of balance it out. Put a yellow one. I like the colors in this kit, that it's pastel. I don't always gravitate. Ooh, I don't always gravitate towards pastel. I like, I like color in general, so. I'll put the blue one. There we go. We made our own washi tape, essentially. All right. So I don't actually drink coffee. <laughs> so that my, uh, Charlie, my other half, he tells me all the time that there's something wrong with me, but I don't care for coffee. And uh, let's see. We'll just put this little munchkin with the note over here because she's cute. And I think that's where we'll leave it for right now. Um, I do have some of these little boxes here that I can use during the week to make any notes uh, that I need to draw attention to or just because they're cute. I have, like I said, the washi tape um, at the bottom here. It's not technically washi tape, but strips that I could use to block off large amounts of time and some little flags as well. So we did pretty good. I kind of, I'm kind of digging this spread. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is what we have left from our kit. As I said, I will be filling this out, plan as I go during the week. And you can see the midweek and the final spread on my Instagram at nerdy.jess. That's also where you'll receive updates about the other projects that I have in the works. So I hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. Happy planning. Peace.